Breaking news alert. Breaking now, a fatal incident along I-75 North in Monroe. It is Tuesday, June 25th. I'm Julie O'Neill. I'm Amber J. Youngs, and Taylor Davis is live at the scene now. She's been there for several hours where traffic has been backed up. And Taylor, are you seeing any progress at this point? Not much progress at all. Take a look at it for yourself. You can see all of this traffic that is backed up because of this crash. And now that it's daytime, it appears we see a semi truck kind of parked in the scene where you see all of those patrol cars. Now this is northbound I-75 just past the Butler rest area. This is just before the premium outlets. If you're familiar with this area, exit 63 in Monroe. Again, this is because because of a crash. However, we're still a distance away, so we're showing you what we see from the area we are in right now. You are looking at the three lanes blocked on I-75 North. You are still a earlier, we were still able to drive past it before traffic started to build up, and it did appear to be a fatal incident. There appeared to be a body lying in the ground in the road from our um, viewpoint. And now earlier we were able to still see the same thing. We are starting to see more and more Ohio State Patrol cars coming to the scene as well. All this action is happening on the right side of the road. You can't miss it by the response once you start to get in this traffic if you are heading this way. But we're gonna send it over to Steph so he can show you more about what's going on with this incident, Steph. Hey there, Taylor. Thanks for the live update and wondering uh, if the uh, I don't see it in the line of cars there. What if the uh, the uh, corners uh, van is there yet? Because, of course, police have to check out the entire scene before they can remove uh, that person from the area there just north of the rest stop. You see all the traffic moving over to the far left lanes. Uh, we're going on three hours now since this initially happened just before 3.30 this morning. So it's a, an intense situation, as you can imagine. And our prayers go out to the family of those, uh, whoever the victim is. We don't know if it's a man or a woman yet, but we're working to get more information.